Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Dave back again, and today we've got the AU09 Analyzer, um, and this is from the spaceship Yamato 2199. Um, was really looking forward to getting this guy, and uh, I want to thank uh, Hobby Search for providing it for me. Um, this is really awesome, and he is in 112th scale. So uh, he's going to be a good size, and uh, I'm going to show this because, um, well, one, it's the only sticker that he comes with, and it's just the UNCF uh, AU09 sticker. But I keep like it keeps sticking to me or whatever, and I keep misplacing it. So I wanted to show you guys that before I lost it again. All right, so getting into the instructions, uh, you get some shots from the movie here. Well, not movie, the series. Um, what we got on the back? You get more shots on the back with it all colored and everything. So, very cool. Our little uh, autonomous robot with attitude. Um, okay, so going over the parts list, there is a whopping whole four runners. Uh, so. Four runners and then one set of uh, PC parts. So there's, yeah, there's a lot of parts. But he's big. He's kind of bulky. I'm um, showing you what to clip and what not to clip, uh, mainly on the clear pieces here. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. So going over. I was showing you. Um, this is mainly just what to do and what not to do. So you don't actually get into the build until, like, here can you tell I don't prep and stuff for this um, it's okay my wife says I do better when I'm on the fly a lot of people are like you should do a script yeah well no not so much so um, okay so we got the head unit here putting all the pieces together see here so not like I said not a whole lot of parts to go to him um, I already have ideas in my head and you guys are like of course you do Dave because you know he's got to have lights and be blinky and crap so um, let's see here it's leg units um, da -da -da -da. it does come with a base which I think is uh, really cool and Though I don't know if I'll end up using him. I think he's going to turn into my desk mascot. And then you have your color guide right over here. And I think that's it for this stuff. Let it go. Let it go. That's all stuck in my head. Alright. Getting on to the goodies. Zoom you guys in. Boop. Boop. Alright, so getting into this, you'll get uh, almost half your runner is going to be clear parts. Um, you get these clear effects over here, which are going to be for like his little thruster pieces. Um, you get the internal headpiece and external headpiece. So you can already tell this is intended to be painted. Um, it's also intended to be lit. Uh, da, 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 another clear piece here. Looks like the front uh, chest cavity. Um, let's see here. These in case over here look like joints. So um, I'm trying to see. They're kind of flexible. but uh, So you get some red pieces over here. These are all just in solid black. Um, two like burgundy brown. Um, parts over here. So that's runner A. Runner B. All red. Kind of a dark red. Uh, more body pieces here. You've got uh, some joints. Uh, body pieces. I mean he's primarily body so um, some foot pieces. 
Runner C is kind of in a funky mustard color. Um, but it's not bad. Kind of cool. Let's see here. So you get tracks. Uh, you get his little antennas. You get uh, four hands here. Two open. Two fists. What I would love to see is in the same style the... Um, uh, crap, I just blinked out. The robot thing. Anybody that's seen the show, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, and then you've got your base, which actually has two different positions uh, for the arms on there. Um, and then I think this is intended, it snaps on for uh, to grab onto his crotch maybe? That's what I'm thinking for stability. Um, that's what I would imagine. Oh, it's either that or it's a, an, it's an extension up. Um, I'm not sure. It's kind of odd. But anyway, so there is that. Oh, I almost forgot. And your uh, six uh, poly caps. So that's it, guys. <clears throat> and I think, let me. So on the side of the box here, because um, normally I don't do the box, but there's not much on here so you can see uh, I didn't end up seeing in the instructions for a placement for a LED unit though it's showing on here that uh, what it looks like with a LED in there so that's kind of interesting unless I just completely missed that part But yeah, very cool. So like I said, I wanna thank uh, Hobby Search for providing this for me. And wow, I didn't realize it came out. What was where it just came out? 2012, oh, that's 2012 was the 21.99, but it was actually released in 2014. Sorry, my bad. But uh, yeah, so that was your unboxing. Um, and I want to, Thank uh, Hobby Search for getting this out to me so that I can review it, build it, and play with it. Yay! All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys when this guy's all built. Talk to you later. Peace out.